So you want to win an NCAA championship. Some think it's easy, and on paper, maybe it is. Just win the next six games in a row, and you've reached your goal. But as Dickie B is going to tell you, these are the toughest six games to play. And you'll see that in today's game between the West Virginia Mountaineers and the Maryland Terrapins. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Terrapins face a whale of an opponent tonight, Dick. How do they pull this one out? The keys to the game are simple, Brad. Number one, the point guard has to take control of the game. And he has to dictate the tempo and the pace. Secondly, challenge every shot from the perimeter. Get right up in their faces, baby. And lastly, make sure every possession you have is a good possession. Don't turn the rock over. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Trying to feed inside. Leans in. Makes it. Oh, my goodness. That was unbelievable, baby. Trying to go inside. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. On the inside. Here's a double team. Stolen away. They look to get it to the inside. LaFleur fakes the shot. For two. I love this guy, Hook. He cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Dumps it in. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Well, some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. three ball it'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there that young man is doing it all for his team right now but he's not getting any help out there it's basically one against five not good odds he hammers at home and the ball goes out of bounds Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Now they work it around the perimeter. Number 35 receives the pass. They'll work it around the arc. Turnover City, that will always really negate any offense. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. That's a foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Here's a spin down in the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. He used the sky hook, the jump hook, and now the spin move for the goal. On 
the outside. Gordon handles the pass. Step out on that screener. The skip pass is picked off. Here they go into the break. For the bucket. In and out. Ziegler handles the feed. Number 50 with the fake. The shooting guard receives the ball. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitell, flop city! I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestle. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. He's going nowhere. Ball oh, no. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. LaFleur is emotionally fired up. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job creating a good angle too when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. He intercepts it. He shoots from right of the circle. Nails the long distance J. They move it into the front court. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. An open guy in the post and went the other way. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. From the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. He fires away. The Terrapins have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep getting the ball. It's simple. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Moving it around the perimeter. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. From left of the circle, way off target. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. He's mocking the crowd. Now, that's throwing salt on the wound. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. Oh, Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. Number four, coming in for the first time tonight. He will give this defense a different kind of threat at this position. Smart move.
The ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that's what makes college so special. The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Throws it up, and there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Shoots from the top of the key. West Virginia are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with his deck. Where's he going? He's got a high post flasher. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes the shot. Kick it back outside. Dump it inside. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. That's why some coaches don't like it when players go for the steal. They end up with fouls or in foul trouble. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick down here on the sidelines. I'm standing by the losing team's bench, and their coaching staff is reminding them, it's just your nerves. Relax. Once you've settled in, you'll come back. Jumps into the defender. Great play to take that to the basket. The Terrapins have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. The Mountaineers are one of my favorites because of their recent success. You know, it's always great to see a team go from ordinary Joe to extraordinary. Basically, Brad, the program has grown and continues to grow. It's amazing what a few NCAA tournament wins will do for your team. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. And now they'll bring it up. Looking for a good shot. He unloads a three. West Virginia are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Stolen ball. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Black. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. There they come with a double team to stop it. They've left him completely alone. Off the rim and no good. He launches the bomb. Great shot. Spacing. Entry pass in the paint with authority. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Boy, 
Terrible execution on offense. They're working around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Gave it up for the bucket. Perfectly executed. He draws a foul. Thinks about the shot. Double team now, bad angle. Puts it up, looking for contact. He buries the shot. Oh, that mascot looks like a lost puppy dog, Dick. I tell you, the mascot so sad and reflects their play. Number 33 sees his first action of the day. Man, I love to watch this kid play, Brad. He's the type of player who knows how to really lift the team. Makes it. He shoots from the top of the key. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. In the paint. There's a double team waiting there. Taken away. This is what you're supposed to do down low is go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 and how to explode to the goal. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Time to pick up the defense here now. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. Puts up the tray. Makes the shot. The Terrapins have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. That he's on fire. They work the perimeter. Fakes the jumper. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, and the real extension. Controlling the ball. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy, too much mustard there. Up fake for two. I love this guy, Hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, you've got to be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. 
Working it around the perimeter. They didn't have the good angle. They should have gotten it to him about a second earlier. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. They work it around the perimeter. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He gets that one to fall. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Gave it up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Spacing so important. Where's he going? Where's he going? I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestler. How much fun would that be? to draw some contact the land let's go to the video take for that one dick how's he working him defensively i tell you he's trying to front right now you got three concepts you can play halfway you can play behind or in front they've decided to play in front which means you got to get help soft Take that to the basket. There's the trap. Stolen away. See if they can get a good shot this trip. He takes the board. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter my lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. That wide stance and the drop step. I tell you, it's all about angles. And if you utilize that drop step, it's like a reverse pivot move. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. Looking for a good shot. Picked off. Now they work it around the perimeter. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Gave it up on the inside. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. At the half. The Terrapins are behind by 15. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. Maryland seemed to have caught the turnover bug in that first half, Dick. And that was big, and it bit them hard. You can't put points on a board if you turn the ball over. They better hope it doesn't come back to haunt them. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? 
All right, thanks, Aaron. The pressure's getting to him, Brad. And they get the turnover. The point guard takes the pass. He uses the shot fake. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. On the dribble, gives it up. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Takes the pass in the paint. The fans are really pleased with what's taking place here. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. So forget about it. And then he does a little dribble act here and turns it over. Knocks it home and one. What a poor job defensively. Nobody stopped the penetration of the ball. With the free throw. Hits that one. The Mountaineers are up by 18. goes out of play. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. For the bucket, in and out. Gets the ball and now faces his man down the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face up position in the post. On the outside. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. The shooting guard takes the feed. The kick out. The small forward gets the pass. Good job defensively. Here's a flash from the post up high from the top of the key. They let him get into a rhythm. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. that basketball he wants a three way off target look at that drive there that's more like my stuff wow little Barishnikov right there you always were a dancer <laughs> number 21 is receiving great praise from the fans the fans know exactly how much he has done for this program with the jump hook I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on a defensive end. Just their excitement with that jam. Working around the perimeter. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. 
The Mountaineers lead by 14. Teams help one another. It's not a one-man game defensively. You gotta help your teammate out. You gotta rotate over. The power forward with the ball. There's the fake. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The Terrapins will step to the line for the first time. Makes the shot. He makes the second. Forward gets the ball, lets it fly. He nails the bucket. Let the replay show us the real deal. Great defense. Dumping inside. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Gave it up. Defense giving some room from the top of the key. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Pressure, great double team, really explosive. The Mountaineers lead by 17. There they come with a double team to stop it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. He makes the shot. of basketball he tries the three ball got it let's take another look they've got a player spotting up on the three with a rejection Kicks it out. Got some room. Intercepted. That spin move's not going to work. It swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Those long arms trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to fly him the ball. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Tries for two. The lay -in. He 
shoots from the top of the circle. He tickles a twine from three-point land. shoots from long range. These boys are slinging threes left and right, left, right, down the center every play. Hey, they're going in from everywhere, baby. Double team now, bad angle. He unloads. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Side. Got an open look if he wants it and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Picks off the pass. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. perimeter spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart steals the pass they work the perimeter here's the toss back out from the post I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer Maryland are on a nice little run at the moment hey they would keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Look at that spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. Nice high post screen. From the top of the key, tickles a twine. The Mountaineers lead by nine. With the catch, nice execution on the spin. I tell you, a great spin move to the basket. Now they work it around the perimeter. There's the trap. Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, this is what people wanted. A close championship game. The action and intensity has really picked up down here on the sidelines, and everyone wants to see a great finish. First shot is good. Missed it. Good second opportunity. He gets the shot to fall. He intercepts it. Gave it up. He tries to knock down the three. He hits it. They work it around the perimeter. Pump thinks. On the dribble, gives it up. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm trying to three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position to spreading his body and getting the ball. Picks off the lazy pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. That suit's got to be feeling pretty hot about now. Things are not going well. Wow, look at the dejection, the disappointment, the depression, the three Ds. Got a man in high post. They work it around the perimeter. He tries the three. 
He gets the bucket to fall. Unloads a three. Off the rim and no good. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. That's seven unanswered. Picked out of the air. Looking for a good shot. Got the shot if he wants it. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. That's a 9-0 run. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from outside. Goes in. The Mountaineers are up by seven. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. The defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call though by the official. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Fake. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Dickey's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few in your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. He hits the second shot. to take it away. You bet. <laughs> On the outside. That's a nice fake. Gave it up. Now the high screen. Great defense. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. They work the perimeter. 
That spin move not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. On the dribble, gives it up. And they come with a double team to stop it. It's stolen. Cross court. Takes away the pass. post screen so effective that screen the Mountaineers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment they need to keep feeding the ball it's simple he looks for the bomb he gets the shot to fall let me hear you say replay baby Gave it up. Goes up for two. And off the mark. Intercepted. Pushes it. Easy to. Ooh, look at the shot block. They got some contact. Nice hops. down low there's a drop step and oh good defense I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot very poor job with the drop step very slow picked off He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Looking for a screen on with a sensational block. And again, they look to run. For two, Maryland are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. They're 15 to 17 feet apart. Gets it back out. From three-point range. Off the rim and no good. But easy one. Timeout. Let's check in with Aaron, who's standing by. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Let's get back out on the floor. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He shoots from the top of the circle. Fit the most out of that timeout, Dick. Absolute mayhem. This place will be in disarray, Dick, if they can get a stop. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. I have to see that one again. That makes it a two-point game, Dick. And the Palms are starting to sweat, believe me. Court working it around the perimeter and a momentary look from three point land. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Tries to get the D to bite, fakes the shot. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. 
Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, following and knowing when the foul is an important part of the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity stripe quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. No doubt. You don't need the desperation three. It's a two-possession game. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult. No rebounding that. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Hits the second. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Makes his third. Better foul quick. Foul, and that stops the clock again. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Up and in. T.O. called. Hey, we got a barn burner here, baby. I'm thinking last second shot for the win, Mr. Nestler. Change things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. He just launches it. Dick, you've said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, I tell you, what this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. the State Farm drive of the game. I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. West Virginia opened the tournament with an impressive first-round victory. Winning that game was 